Frankly, sometimes one Molly just isn't enough. Today I have one of my very favorite bloggers with me, Molly Ye of My Name Is Ye fame, and we are going to make homemade chocolate gelt buttons and talk Hanukkah traditions. So when I told Molly I wanted to make Hanukkah gelt. Molly had some really fun ideas for other things that we could do to top the gelt. So we'll start with one of your signature oh, nice. sprinkles. They are so easy to make. Today we're gonna make rose water sprinkles. And so we're just gonna start with some powdered sugar. A pinch of salt. Just give that a little mix. And then we'll add our egg white. And then we're just gonna mix, mix, mix. A teaspoon of rose water. And you wanna find rose water that is for food purposes. I remember the first time I made homemade sprinkles, I was inspired by another blogger, mm -hmm. Hummingbird High, and it was so much fun. I covered my kitchen in sprinkles. And I made tons of different colors, and I made funfetti cake with it, and I put them in biscotti. It is a sprinkles world. This is a pretty good texture right here. Now we're gonna divide it into our bowls. Okay. We have three colors. Should we pipe these out? Yeah. Okay. Scoop this into a piping bag fitted with an itsy, itsy, bitsy tip. Yeah, so like super tiny. So these just get set aside to dry out overnight. So here is the ones that I made. So what do you chop them with? I like getting a knife and cutting a bunch of them at the same time. Okay. So now that we've finished our sprinkle party, it's time to make our gelt. Great. I have semi-sweet chocolate chips here. Put them right into a little saucepan. Stir them until they just start to melt and then we can pull it off the heat and then continue to stir until it totally smooths out. The thing that I remember growing up, gelt was little foil wrapped chocolate. Gelt was never good. It always tasted really waxy. It was always really waxy and really um, milky. So it didn't taste like chocolate. And of course there were never toppings on gelt no, either. No, We're solving all of you know your gelt problems with this one recipe. Okay, so I'm just gonna take a spoonful. Yes. And then you have to immediately come in with whatever awesome topping. Yay! Oh, that looks awesome. Let's do some with the candied ginger. Oh yeah, yeah. I'm gonna just put it right in the middle. So we can do, yeah, some of the other kinds too. Okay. We have milk chocolate. And then we also melted some white chocolate. So we'll pop them in the fridge for about an hour, and then we'll be ready to eat them. These look amazing. These are gorgeous. Can I eat one? Yes, go for it. That's really fun. liking the look of the yeah. freeze-dried strawberries. Yeah. Mm. Good? Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. We like invented a new thing. That Pretzels a, and freeze-dried strawberries. That is the best Hanukkah <laughs> gelt I've ever had. <laughs> I went all in. Ooh, yum. I love with the ginger. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And there are so many ways you could go with these two. You could have like a BYO gelt topping party. Oh, I love that. That's a perfect Hanukkah party. I can't wait to celebrate Hanukkah with these. Mm -hmm. These look amazing. Thank you so much, Molly, for joining me to make the most beautiful gelt in the world. Thank you for having me. Mm -hmm.